everybody so I haven't filmed a video in two weeks well that's a lie I filmed a video I ran into some technical difficulties I was trying to upload a updated nail polish collection and it took me forever to shoot it was like 27 minutes long and then um, the first time I edited it, it took me a really long time I got it down to like 21 minutes um, and I saved the file but after it finished saving it said that um, that the files in it were missing like the codex was missing or something so like it didn't save I tried messing with my Windows movie editor a little bit um, and then I re-edited the video tried saving it again and the same thing happened so I don't know if I need to like re-import the footage from my memory chip or if I need to just reshoot the whole video but I got really frustrated with it and I just kind of was like, you know what, I'm just going to take a break for two weeks because I'm just so annoyed with it. But today I am doing a tutorial slash get ready with me using products that I don't necessarily reach for all the time. I sort of shopped my stash, if you will. I've got the products right here in this little bin. Um, and it's just a really simple, easy summer look. Didn't take me too long to do. I take you through every step. Um... And it's just kind of using single shadows and drugstore quads that I don't, I have them, but I don't use them. And I really need to. So, and let's all be honest. Y'all have single eyeshadows that you do not ever use. Let's be real. Raise your hands. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, if you want to see how I did this look, just keep watching. Let's get into it, guys. Alright. So, I'm just going to get my hair out of my face little headband so it's like really hot out today it is the hottest day all summer okay that was a lot harder than it should have been um anyway so it's the hottest day of the whole summer and it's like 90 degrees out it's never been this hot like this summer like I'm from the midwest I'm used to it being really hot but I'm just like not ready for it like I haven't had to deal with it yet I'm not ready I don't want to go outside and I had to turn my air conditioner off to film this so it's gonna get really hot in here really fast um first I'm using my Laura Geller first I'm using my Laura Geller makeup spackle I am like almost out right here this is all I've got left I'm really sad yeah and my roommate decorated the cake I'll put a picture of that right here that was y'all's weekend yesterday on Sunday uh, I threw a surprise birthday party for my grandpa. He turned 78 today. Um, so we had a party while well, we had lunch. The whole family came together, had lunch, had cake, just had togetherness. Um, my family and I really don't get together very often, like all of us, because me and my brothers and sisters are getting older and we're all in our like own separate world. So like my brother Harley, for instance, he works full time for McDonald's and like he works third shift. So we never ever see him. Um, I haven't seen him since Christmas <laughs> and it was the first time I've seen him all year. And then when I dropped him off at his apartment, I'm like, bye, see you at Christmas because I won't see him again. Um, I'm using my Olay Fresh Effects. This I'm almost out of as well. Really excited to use this up and get it out of my collection. Probably got too much on my hand right there. It looked really cool. It was a bowling cake because my grandfather loves to go bowling. A little bit too much on my hand. I'm getting a tissue to wipe it off. I decided my skin's been being pretty nice to me. So I'm just going to use a BB cream. Since it's so hot out and I really don't want to mess with my foundation too much and worry about it like getting gross looking. Um, so now we're going to move on to concealing my dark circles because I've got them and the, of course the light makes them look not as bad. I'm using my Benefit Erase Paste which I'm almost out of. I'm really sad. So yes, a lot of my face products are getting used up and I'm super excited for it because it means I'm using them but at the same time I'm really sad because stuff like this is expensive and just right now with my finances I really can't go out and repurchase so I'm gonna have to use some of my stuff that I don't care for as much I'm sure y'all have times like that it's called being an adult and I don't really like it I can't adult don't make me adult so I'm just patting this in with my 
fingers very gently. It really just helps me look a little more awake. My college is doing like little like sponsored activities throughout the summer and tonight's activity is dollar movie night so we decided to go see Magic Mike. Oh before I forget I'm putting on my uh, Makeup Forever HD setting powder uh, just to set that a little bit because it's kind of sticky and it just needs to be set. Uh, now I need to conceal some dark spots on my face. I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I typically don't use this to conceal my under eye circles, but it works really well to conceal my like acne scarring and any redness that I have on my face. So I'm going to put a little bit on my chin, around my nose. Got a little one right going right here on my nose. I'm just going to blend that in. It looks Just tap it in. Okay, beautiful. And then I'm going to set that as well um, because that concealer is also kind of sticky. I'm just going to set that as well. Perfect. All right. Now for the main event, the eyes. Um, I am using a bunch of single shadows that I never ever touch. I have them sitting in my collection and I just don't use them. So we're going to use them today. But first, we need to prime the eyes. I am using my Fergie uh, Wet n Wild primer. The writing is totally worn off. This I'm almost out of two. Just going through products like a mad woman. You really don't need much of this product, this much for both eyes. Oh, I got some on my eyelashes. That's irritating. I'm going to start with this eyeshadow single from The Balm, and it's in their new Dude palette. And it's this pretty coppery. It work really well for like a one shadow look. But I'm going to put a little more effort into it. So I'm just tapping this all over the lid and into the crease a little bit. And I'm using my viewfinder for a mirror. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I like, well, you know, I'm going to explain to you what's going on with my filming setup here. So I just moved into this apartment and it's super tiny. My room is really, really tiny and I don't have room for like a vanity or anything in my room. Actually, I don't have any furniture in there at all, but it, what it really came down to is I have room for my bed and I want to get like a chest of drawers for my clothes and then I'm going to get a bookshelf for my books and that's all the room I have in there. So it came to down to a place to put my things or getting a vanity for a filming setup. So that's kind of what I'm working with. Um, I'm going to go into this old Wet n Wild palette that I have. This is from called their Vanity palette and I'm going to go into this light brown here with a really fluffy brush and I'm going to work this into my crease as a transition color. So yeah, I hope you all understand Oh, and plus my lighting in my room is really bad. It's really yellow. I just have an overhead light. Eventually I'm going to get some form of lighting in there. So I hope you all understand that I'm filming here in my living room for the time being and using my viewfinder for a mirror because I don't have a mirror really. Um, it'll all come together eventually, I promise. It's just a work in progress. Let's go into this uh, brown color here see what this does I have no idea what this looks like go in with a small blending brush that's actually kind of dirty gotta wash my brushes I'm just gonna tap this here in the inner corner kind of making a smoky look right there huh I think I'm going to go back into that balm shadow 
with a liner brush and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. The eyes are pretty much done. Now we're going to move on to eyeliner and this is the Jordana Fabu liner in black. It's just a black liquid pen. My eyeliner game guys is not very strong so I gotta really concentrate on that for just a second. Alright, right eye is done. Let's try to get the left eye. That's the one that gives me problems. You probably can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Whew, made it! You know, I'm gonna make this wing a little bit longer. Perfect. Put my lashes and put on some mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara, it's fantastic. Sadly, this is also almost gone. How much volume and thickness you get from this mascara it's great I'm not gonna put any on my lower lashes because it is so humid out and I don't want it rubbing down to my under eye and making it look like I got raccoon eyes it's gonna happen anyway but I feel like putting mascara on my lower lashes just really helps with that process I'm going to put this Marc Jacobs a pencil eyeliner on my lower lash line. I got this in a Sephora liner kit around Christmas time and I really haven't used it so I'm trying to show it some love. It's not very dark but I like that it's just a little subtle. Don't want too much going on there in the heat. Since the eyes are done, it's time to finish the face. I'm gonna put on some blush here with the Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot because it's the only blush I have. Thanks cockroaches. First I'm actually going to contour a little bit. So I'm going to go into Hula right here and I have this large angled, oh I have this large angled contour brush from Luxie that I got in an Ipsy box. Really love this brush. So I'm going to tap a little bit in and just put a little bit. My hair is getting in the way. My hair is getting in the way. I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Hollow my cheek. Alright, so that went on a little heavy. I'm going to blend it out here. There we go. Just to finish that off, I'm going to take, hmm, this is really hard. I'm not quite sure which blush I want to go with. I'm thinking a little bit of Coralista. And then I think, oh, you know what? I forgot to put my inner corner highlight in my eyes, so I'm going to do that really fast. This is the Pacifica Natural Beauty Eyeshadow in Earth Real. Ethereal? I don't know. Got this as an Ipsy as well. A lot of my singles are from Ipsy. I'm trying to use that stuff up that I get in that box because I feel like I never do. This is just a very nice champagne-y color. I'm also going to take this color if I can open it. I'm also going to take this color and just pop a little bit on my cheekbones for a highlight. Gotta love multitasking products. Am I right ladies? Just allows you to get your job done in just so many little steps. A little bit right there. Oh. For lippies I'm pulling out an old favorite. 
This is my Color Whisper in Lust for Blush. I've talked about this combo so many times. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going into my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in, oh, what is this? Pink Whisper, I think. Anyway, it's a champagne color. I'm just going to pop this right on top. Fish look, I'm taking my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Kind of wish I had the matte version just for the summer, but I don't, so I'm working with what I've got. That's just going to set everything and hold everything in place. I'm going to take my hair down now. I'm going to brush through it because it's kind of messy. Alright, here's the finished look. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, I meant for this video to be a little more chit chatty than it actually was, so oh well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want more videos like this. I do have I kind of enjoyed shopping my stash and using stuff I really don't use very often. Um, so it was really a lot of fun for me. I hope it was a lot of fun for you. Let me know if you want to see more like this. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.